Greetings everyone. This is the goddess known as Jackie Gates. Don't you just love the hat? <laughs> this is my feathers, my halo, that I wear when I go to the Renaissance Festival. I saw it at the back of my cupboard today and I thought, oh, I haven't worn that for ages. So here we are in all my finery. And we, of course we have to have the glittery earrings that go with it. So it's like that showgirl Renaissance Festival thing. Um, and it got me thinking. <laughs> What if you saw me at a party dressed like this? Oh, it's one thing to dress like this at the Renaissance Festival because everybody's a little odd. Um, but what if it was a normal party? You know, three quarters of the people are dressed in black. You spent hours deciding what to wear so that you would uh, look good but not stand out. What if I arrived dressed like this? Would you laugh and head off in the other direction? Would you still greet me like a long-lost friend? Would you look at me and go, what the hell are you wearing? <laughs> I got to thinking about the oddballs, the eccentrics, the unusual people, and how we all tend to hang out with people that are more or less the same as us. And you know, you're not going to grow that way. Unless you have some kind of discomfort, some feeling of, I haven't been here before, you're not growing. If I spend all my time with people sort of like me, on the same level as I am, am I really going to grow? The answer is no. We need to hang out more with the oddballs, the eccentrics, the people who think differently. Because it's them that makes the world grow. It's them that makes us look at things differently. It makes, it's them that makes us question our beliefs, that makes us look at our world and say, well, do I have to always do it the same way? No. My daughter and I once went um, shopping, grocery shopping. Madam was dressed as a princess. She was in full tiara and heels and the whole thing. Um, and she said, Mommy, you can't go out like that. You look too ordinary. So I got into my ball gown, complete with diamante earrings, and the two of us went grocery shopping. It's one of my best memories. And you know what? While people smiled and greeted us, nobody laughed. They might have thought oh, we were odd, but they certainly celebrated with us. And it was a huge lesson, stepping out of my comfort zone and having a memory that I will cherish until I'm a hundred years old. So here's to the eccentrics, here's to the little bit strange, here's to making life a little more unusual every day, here's to stepping out of the box, here's to being a little adventurous, maybe even a little weird. You know, they say that you will be the average of the five people you hang out with most. Do you really want to stay ordinary? I know I don't. I'm going to get brave. I'm going to get some peculiar friends. And I'm going to step into that kind of courageous individualism. And I'm not going to leave hats like this for once a year. <laughs> Here's to a goddess-worthy day.